So it's double XP week in MLB The Show 23, and we're going to be talking about the best way to end up completely finishing this program and absolutely grinding, and you're going to be able to get a ton of stubs by grinding this method because once you end up finishing the whole program, we are going to be making so much an hour. We're going to be making like 50 to 60,000, maybe even 70,000 XP per hour. And what's so good about what we're doing today is it is so easy. It's so incredibly easy. This is the easiest gameplay method that is in the game. And it's my gameplay and XP method. And this is going to be how you guys are going to end up doing it. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys drop a like and a sub as we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And let's get right into it. So there are a couple of different ways to actually end up going about it this year, but the best way to end up doing it is kind of different than even in my last video, whereas it's kind of similar, but there are a couple of things through the comment section and through you guys that we were able to narrow it down to make it go even faster. What you're going to want to do to start it off is you're going to want to go to create and then you're going to go to vaults. And whenever you go to vaults, you're going to end up going over to uh, rosters. And what you're going to end up doing is you're going to sort it by ascending. That way you get the highest and own blocking it. Um, but you are going to want to end up doing XP grind any team. Now you can do the XP grind. That's actually uh, the one with the reds, which isn't that bad. Um, but I've just been doing any team and this is what I've been doing. I like it a lot. And so you're going to download it and you're just going to save it. You can name it whatever you want or you can name it nothing. And you can just end up pressing on new save right here to make sure that it saves itself. But make sure you do press on that. Now, what you're going to want to end up doing is this is it's a little bit different. So there's one or two ways that you can go about this. OK, and I'm going to tell you guys now the best way to do it is you're going to want to start a new file and you're going to want to end up whenever you get to this screen, you're going to want to press select roster. You're going to do load saved no matter what. And you're going to put the XP grind, the one that you just downloaded. Um, but the one thing that you're going to want to make sure that you do <laughs> that uh, you just you just got to do it is you got to make sure that you want to end up going about it for more XP or you want to end up getting ball player too. If you want to end up getting more XP, if you want to maximize this out, what you're going to want to end up doing is you're going to want to end up using an active ball player that is just a pitcher. But one thing I will say is, is that if you make it a two way player, that it's about the same, you lose out on about two to 3000 XP uh, per hour but you're gonna end up getting your two-way God player that you really want for ball players. So this is what I recommend is doing the two-way, but if you're just XP grinding, make a pitcher. Now, whenever you're making it, the best archetype is velocity on all these guys. And I like doing contact. Um, some people do power, but I like doing contact. You gotta make sure he's a starting pitcher. He has to be a starting pitcher. And then what I like to do is, cause I wanna make him a left-hander, is something I did wrong my last video. Um, but you can either make him a catcher and he can be right-handed or you can make him cheesy. And I actually ended up putting him and this is kind of funny, but, uh, at second base, cause I believe you can put him at left-handed second base. I just don't know if it lets you work. So you're going to make sure that, um, see if it will. Yes, you can make him a left-handed second baseman. So I put him at second base. He's a left-handed second baseman. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want him to be a cheesy pitcher. Now I know that you guys are probably like annoyed at it, but uh, one thing that you can do is you make him a cheesy left-handed pitcher that throws 103 sub, which is kind of crazy. Current players go to 23 and we're doing Tyler Rogers this year because he's left-handed sub and throws gas. He's, he's disgusting. So that's kind of the animations for batting stance. Um, I've been going Chipper Jones and I like the 2008 one. So Chipper Jones, that way he's the best on both and you're going to finish that and make sure that he is the GOAT. And you're going to start your career. You just go to the top and you press on that. That's the two important things. So he has a good swing and he has why I don't know why my, why does he not have a head right now? I have no idea why he doesn't have a head right now. Um, um, but, uh, tigers, we're just going to go with the tigers. It's no big deal. So we're going to pick him. Um, we're going to end up getting drafted and you're going to end up playing the games. Now, the one thing that I will say, and I hope that this glitch stays the same where I don't, we're actually a guardian. That's kind of crazy. Um, but the big thing is all you got to worry about is you're going to want to play your pitching appearances. I don't hit on this. I don't know why people hit. There are some people that said that they did whenever they got to double a, um, but I would only pitch even whenever you're a two way player. And the reason why is you just get a ton of more XP. Now you also got to keep in mind, I'm making this video Thursday night. Cause I got a baseball tournament on Friday that I got to go to. And, uh, you're going to be getting double the XP that I get in this video. So double XP is live. 
um one thing i do to make this the most brainless and easy is it's really easy you go to settings you want to make sure that presentation is on fast play for every single one and you're going to want to make sure that your gameplay i actually go classic and this is why i go classic and i said this in my last xp video is i can chill and i can do whatever i want whenever i'm doing this this is the most brain dead easy method in the world another thing is is although they are zero overalls this is what you're going to want to end up doing for your difficult things i forgot to talk about this difficulty you're going to want to make sure that it is on uh i think amateur amateur is the easiest one i'm going to press on that on both the reason why you want to go easy is because it doesn't affect xp plus it doesn't affect program stars another thing that's good about grinding this is not only are you going to be getting the best ball player while you're doing this um but you're going to be getting about 60,000 xp per hour maybe even 70,000 with the uh, with the double xp um whenever i was grinding this like right now usually i got about 2500 per game uh 2000 to 2500 because you're getting program uh program xp as you go and so it's really nice because you're going to be getting 500 boosts on xp pretty much per game because you should be getting milestones whenever there are parts of the game that you end up getting uh, it'll like talk about how it's like get a strikeout for program stars always press the one for program stars so if it ever gives you an option to get out of an inning and give you like a choice you always press on that and it's just this is such a great method because it's so easy and you're just getting so many things done at once you're grinding ball player you're getting xp you're doing this is even a stubs method because whenever you get to the diamond archetype whenever you go through your ball player uh <laughs> you're gonna end up getting those diamond equipments and you can keep doing it over and over and over again to where you're just going to get diamond equipments and you're going to be selling those for stubs. Some of those go for like 25,000, 40,000 stubs because they're really good rituals that you'll end up getting or a really good bat or a really good bat like bat tape that's going for a ton. And it's just, it's really helpful. And so you're going to be getting all of this. You either keep the diamond equipment for your own disgusting cap or you end up using them. Um, and you don't have to make him cheesy like i did um but one thing i would do is i would go the tyler rogers just because it's so fast and it makes this go really quick but uh grinding this whole xp method is really easy i it's a great time to watch baseball right now and you can turn this on and watch baseball it takes zero brain power absolute zero brain power another thing that one guy was saying to me is you can actually end up going into roster control and you can change your stadium this year and so if you're going to change your stadium, what I would do is I would go to Hattie RTTS glitch and I would end up using that. That way you can get more home runs for your ball player when we do get hitting with him. Um, but this is, this is definitely the best way to get XP this year. You're going to be getting 60 to 70,000 XP by grinding this. At the very worst, you're getting 40 to 50,000. But with the XP boost that you end up getting and with the program boost that you end up getting, uh, that's going to double as well to where you're going to be getting upwards of 60,000, 70,000 XP. So this is the best way to do it this year. It's the most brain dead way to do it. If you don't have the whole program done, um, this is going to be one way you can end up getting it done. Like I already have the complete XP program done. And the reason that I do have it done is because I've been grinding this for like two hours every single night. And I've just been doing this while I watch baseball. And so I would definitely recommend going about it this way because it's just, it's so good this year. All right, I'm going to fast forward to the end of the game so you guys can actually see what XP I'm getting, and then we'll talk a little bit at the end. All right, boys, so we just ended up getting relieved for, and uh, it was the eighth inning. I don't even, but we ended up getting, and we won't actually end up getting the 500 boost of XP for this um, if we do, but I don't think that we will since it was the first game. Usually it starts coming the second game. You can see I got 1,800 XP, and I was on my phone and kind of just chilling while watching youtube and it ended up according to the recording taking about seven minutes around there um and so obviously this might not look absolutely cracked off rip but you're going to be getting double this and you're going to be getting program xp as you go so you're going to be getting like 500 a thousand boosts on the way to end up grinding the whole program and you're going to be getting good ball player so it's kind of all compiling at once and as you go you're going to be getting more milestones and as you hit those milestones you're going to be getting like 3000 xp for that and then it's going to double and get 6000 so it's going to bring your xp total up so that's the fastest way to end up getting xp in mlb the show 23 boys if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this make sure you guys hit that like and sub button as we are getting so close to hitting my dream of 10,000 subscribers i'll talk to you boys later have a great rest of your day and peace